All right, so video number three is how to fly your drone at night and get some footage at night, photograph and or video footage. Freaking cold out here. So let's just do it. All right, so let's go get some footage of this bridge. So the Mavic is above me. Key with video is that you're gonna be limited by uh, the amount of light that's hitting our shutter because we only have a certain shutter speed based on our frame rate. So it's the best we can do. Now this isn't bad. This isn't bad, you can see it here. Not bad overall. Here we go, let's take a little flight. Over the top of this bridge. You can see that pretty well. You can see that uh, anti collision light pretty well. Let's turn around here, come back the other way. There we come. Perfect. All right, let's bring her back. It's a little scary flying at night. Um, you don't really know exactly what's happening. You can see this uh, in the darkness here, uh, but it is, uh, you can see that light. Uh, I don't know if you can see it if I uh, show it, but it's, it's uh, pretty easy to see that uh, anti-collision light. It really is. We're going to uh, come back here and we're gonna do the next one, step number two, which is uh, taking some photos instead of some video. So let's do that, let's come on back. There we come. Let's get the camera up, see what we can see. There it is. And let's get our camera set and let's do our shutter at uh, in our shutter we're going to do quite a bit higher there we go let's do like one tenth or one eighth of a second even okay and we're going to turn our ISO down just a little get it a little cleaner there we go a little longer yet All right, let's see what we got here. Well, that should be some photos. Let's see what we have. Let's see if we can go get some light trails and then our third one. So let's bring her back in. All right, so one more thing we're going to try here. We're just going to bring this down so you can see the uh, navigation lights. So there they go. So now you can see them. And there we go. So let's go take our other ones. So just a reminder that if you want to know more about the lighting, uh, that is video one. We'll go through what lights I used and how they work and some of the options and things like that. And of course, video two is all about the rules and regulations on how to get waivers or what just uh, safety things to follow while you're flying for recreational or 107. Don't forget that both of those other videos exist. I'll put links up above and in the description so you can bounce between those as you need to. Okay, so we've got one last one here. We're gonna to try to do some light trails. Uh, see what we can do over some traffic here. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Waiting for some cars. 
will be good. All right, so you can see we're actually getting some halfway decent um, uh, lighting now. We've got the uh, ISO turned way down, which is nice. Uh, the shutter speed we've got quite high, trying to get a little more light trails, trying to get some light in there, so that's good. We can't change the aperture on this, so we don't have to worry about that at the moment. So here we go. I guess that's about all the traffic we're going to get. So there we go. All right, so, so far we've been talking about doing photography with drones at night, whether it be video, pictures, long exposures, things like that, getting some cool light trails, all that kind of stuff. But there's one other thing, if you're creative, who says the drone has to be the one taking the pictures? Why can't you turn that around Take your camera, take some pictures of the drone, doing some cool stuff. It's the one that's got all the motion, right? So the last thing is turn it around a little bit, be creative. Let's take some pictures of the drone, some photography, some longer exposures, and see what that looks like. So always keep in mind, be creative, do something fun, something different, and let's see what happens. So let's just try that, see what happens for one last thing. So just let me set up what I was doing when I was trying to get these pictures. Uh, so I just wanted to have a few more lights. So what I did was I bought some of these little wire lights here, these kind of little tube light things. And I got them on Amazon. And let me turn this uh, light off so you can see it a little better. There you go. And they kind of do a glow. Uh, they're pretty neat. Uh, they're, they're pretty flexible, you can see here. And you can see here, we can flash them on and off. And they came in a bag uh, like this for like uh, a bunch of these for like 10 bucks. Uh, so it's a hell of a deal. I uh, get all these different colors and it comes with all these real uh, controllers like this. Uh, I'll put the links below so you can uh, get those if you want. They're pretty cool. You can sew them onto clothing, things like that. Uh, but I did do that and I attached it to the drone. Let me uh, turn off the strobe here so we can see that. I didn't do it very fancy. Uh, but what I did is I took uh, simply a string here and I tied it around the Mavic and taped it in place. And then I used uh, a little... A loop at the end and what I did was on the end of this little kind of rope light thing here you'll see I put a I put a little uh, you can see that good I put a little swivel like you'd use for fishing and the reason I did that is because then when the Mavic spins I've got a, an open place where this can spin around uh, so that it doesn't twist up because I was a little afraid of pulling the Mavic down out of the air so all I did was hook this around there tie it up and then I tied it up, I simply hooked this on and uh, snapped it and let that dangle. So the Mavic was kind of tethered to these lights and I dragged them around again, just trying to uh, get some imagination, see what we can do. So be really careful if you do this kind of stuff, of course, tethering it like that. Uh, but it's just one way to uh, try to drag some lights around when we're doing that long exposure to get some things uh, in our photo. So uh, just one way, so just, just set that up. There we go. Some of the cool things you can do with drones at night, photography videos, all that kind of stuff. I hope you found some use to this video. If you did, I really would appreciate a like, really help the channel grow. A subscribe will let you know of future things that are happening that might be fun and different, interesting news, things like that. So I always appreciate the subscribe. So with that, until next video, good flying. I've got an error on my stick. Let's have a plan, otherwise you're just some creeper flying in the dark. We don't want that. <laughs>